Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 3rd, 2021. Let's see what we have going on here. All right. So we have, oh, I love this card. It's cyan. Uh, build your confidence. The number is 35. Now I was just giving the example yesterday in yesterday's reading that sometimes we get conditioned to think that if something feels um, intense, that that automatically makes it good. Um, I was just having this thought, like how adrenaline junkies are, like I don't, sorry if you're an adrenaline junkie, but for me personally, I don't trust adrenaline junkies. I'm like, what's going on there? Why do you need that to feel alive? Like, I, I don't get it. But, you know, we do get conditioned to think that intense means good or intense means a special soul connection. If you're talking about love partnership or what have you. And yet there is something that is going on here where people are sent into our world to tear us down. How many of you have dealt with narcissists? How many of you have ha had to deal with a sociopath? Uh, how often do we say that, you know, let's talk about a job. The person who gets promoted is the one who cares the least usually. I mean, not always. I know there is a lot of like good uh, bosses out there, but you know, sometimes it's the person who really is ruthless. And if you hear successful people, and I'm not talking all successful people, again, I know there are good successful people out there, okay? <laughs> Let's lay that down. But you know, you might hear, and I know I've heard this in the corporate world, it was like, man, you know, she is just ruthless. You know, she, she deserves to be in that position because she gets the job done. She doesn't let her emotions take over or whatever. Um, we're coming into a place now where whatever was knocking your confidence and whatever we've kind of backed up and fed into, that's why people who, you know, are not the nicest are getting maybe the most out of the life as it is. Yes, I don't know if they're getting a whole lot of soul enrichment out of it, but, you know, materially speaking, they're getting quite a bit. So, what we're talking about are people that come into our world to knock our confidence because there's this competition. Yes, I'm feeling this competition. It's a very surface level and we can eradicate this fairly easily by educating ourselves, uh, understanding when we're up against someone who might, they're not very anchored in their emotions. Um, you know, and this, there's, there's a, a whole spectrum here. Okay. So there could be somebody who's been traumatized and they're just defensive and they don't, trust people, that's one thing, okay? They are trying to heal or they're in need of healing. It's quite another if someone also coming from a pained background makes the choice then to sort of punish other people or be abusive, that's not okay. I, you, once you're grown, you're making your choices, all right? So when we start looking at that and not, um, not honoring it, not on, honoring the narcissism, not really thinking that someone's special because they say they are, right? We start recognizing that and we're disconnecting from it. Now our confidence doesn't get hit. We don't take in the lies they tell us. It's not just that. I mean, there's all kinds of conditioning out there that's meant to knock our confidence, right? And this is what then, for example, makes people go into shallow relationships. And that union is not powerful because there's, it's just surface level. But what happens when people are at ease within themselves. They're in touch with their souls, their own personal grid, connected, filled with light. And they meet somebody else who's exactly that same way. That's some really incredible love power going out into the universe. And it's incredibly healing. And it's a good example. And if that were to occur, that would knock out quite a bit of the, uh, whatever you want to call it, kind of at bat, you know, the lower energy in this world sure would, but we have to build our confidence. We have to, and not in this egotistical kind of way, but through our awareness. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.